With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the following question says that give the IUPAC names okay, of the following compounds from number 1 to 5. The IUPAC names on the left are given to you to guide you to the correct IUPAC name for the compounds given on the right. Okay, so let's get started with the first one. The first compound is given as propene. So let us understand why this is propene first. Uh, basically, if we start numbering 1, 2, we start numbering where we found the functional group first, okay? 1, 2, 3. So, prop. First of all, let us understand that why prop has been used. Prop has been used in order to indicate the three carbons, okay? It indicates the whole root and it has three carbons. So, prop is used. And next, ene is used. Ene indicates the double bond on first position only. So, ene indicates double bond on first position. Double bond means the, this particular double bond. Okay, double bond on first position. So, if we are going to write to, for this given compound, then we will see here 1, 2, 3. 3 carbons are there. So, our answer will begin with prop only. Prop is the word root. Prop. But now, instead of double bond at first position, we have a triple bond at first position. So, what does that indicate? Ene is not going to come here. And for triple bond, we use ine. Y-N-E, ine. So, prop, ine. Prop for 3 carbon and ine is for the triple bond. 3 carbon and a triple bond. Okay. 3 carbon and a triple bond at first position. That is why the name is given as prop I. Okay, prop E and prop I. Okay, let's move for further. The next one given to us is pentane 2 O. So, why pentane 2 O? Pentane 1, 2, 3. As I mentioned, we will name from here only because from here, if we see OH functional group is getting the least number. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. 4 and 5. 5 carbon it has. That is why pent has been used. All the carbon atoms have been joined here by single bond. That is why pent in. But now let's see. It has OH functional group at second position. So 2 is mentioned here and pent in. It was pent in earlier. If there would have been no substituent, no OH would have been there, then this would have been simply pent A. Like 5 carbon chain, 3, 4 and 5 all are being joined by hydrogen. Okay, no OH is there, then it would be pent A, simply pent A. But now it has second position substituted with alcohol functional group. That is why E is dropped from here and we have written E is dropped and we have written all here. Okay. Similarly, if we move on further and see what is given in our compound, then it is substituted at which position? 1. First of all, name it 1, 2, 3. Now, for here, if we name, if we started naming from here like 1, 2, 3, the OH is getting the same position. So, you can name it from either of the direction as you prefer. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It has third position substituted with OH functional group. Now, since it has five carbons, so it will be named second. Let me write second here the answer for this one. Pent for five carbon. Every every carbon is joined by single bond. So A N E is dropped because we have to write for the functional group three. Now three is preceded by a hyphen before writing a, a numeral after writing a word like this is the alphabet after alphabet and a numeral we'll write we'll you know use hyphen in between so pent hyphen three hyphen and then we'll write ol which indicates our alcohol or oh functional group okay 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pent, single bond A, 3, because third position, OL, because of the functional group, alcohol. Next, if we move on and see which is the next part given to us, this is given as 2, 2, dimethylpropane. So, 1, 2 and 3. Now, second position, it has it has three carbons, so clearly that is why prop is used. All have been joined by single bond, that is why in has been used. Now, we are using the prefix. Prefix indicates that the second position has been substituted twice by the methyl group. What is the methyl group? This CH3, which is denoted here, which is denoted, given to us here. This CH3 is the methyl group and it is uh, second position has been substituted twice by this group. So these two methyls, okay, these two methyls are present at second position. That is why 2-2, two, two. for sec two times substitution, dimethyl since two methyls are used, 2-2 two, two, dimethyl propane. So now let us see what is given to us in our compound. It is 1, 2, 3. Now our second position is substituted by methyl group once again, but only one hydrogen has been substituted by methyl. Okay, so we'll write for 3, if we are going to write for our given compound, then we'll write for this particular thing, then we'll write 2 methyl, no dye is, has to be used here, only one methyl is used, 2 methyl and 3 carbons are there, single bond is there, that is why propane, 2 methyl propane, okay, 2 hyphen methyl and then propane. Okay, no, uh, no space is to be mentioned here, 2 methyl propane simply. Okay, moving on to our next compound if we are seeing. The next compound is propanoic acid. Okay, so whatever, this is our functional group. Numbering will start from here, 1, 2 and 3. 3 carbons are present here, that is why prop is used. Now, if it would have been simple hydrocarbon, simple alkane, then propane would be there. As I mentioned earlier also, propane would be used here. But now, since this is the carboxylic acid, and for carboxylic acid functional group, we write a suffix which is oic acid. That is why for propane, E is omitted, and without doing anything else, propanoic acid is used for the carboxylic acid functional group suffix and prop in for the three carbon chain. Similarly, here we have two carbons. In the given compound, we have two carbons. So, for three carbon, we use prop A and for two carbon, we use it A. Okay, it A and similarly dropping E and writing oic acid because similar carboxylic acid is given in the compound. That is why the name becomes ethanoic acid. Ethane indicates two carbon and oic acid indicates the carboxylic acid functional group. Okay, so the fourth answer is ethanoic acid. Next, moving on, we have our last compound which is 1, 2, dibromoethane. So, 1, 2. Okay, two carbons are there. That is why ethane, ethane is used because two carbons are there and have been joined by a single bond that is why ethane is used as a suffix and now for prefix if we see both of the carbons are substituted by a halogen which is bromine so one and two position are substituted by two bromine atoms that is why one two dibromoethane is used okay if we monitor the given compound one two okay one two indicates ethane is coming in the prefix only now, instead of bromine, chlorine is given, Cl. So, instead of bromo, the prefix would be 1, 2, dibromoethane. Okay. Since, which is used, chlorine is used, that is why 1, 2. After numbers, we will we'll separate the numbers by comma. And between a number and an alphabet, we will use hyphen. So, 1, 2, di. Chlorine are present instead of bromine. 1, 2, dichloro and ethane for 
two carbons by single bond. One, two, dichloroethane. So we have mentioned all five. Okay, starting from the first compound which was given to us. The answer for the first one is propine because of the triple bond here, propine. If moving on to next one, the second answer is pentane 3 ol because of the third position substituted by alcoholic functional group. The third answer is 2 methyl propane. The fourth answer becomes ethanoic acid because of the two carbon and carboxylic acid functional group. And the fifth one is 1, 2, dichloroethane. Okay, there is no comma here. Like simply you have to write 1, 2, dichloroethane. Okay, I hope this was clear. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.